Where do I get the earth stone? I feel like the only place I haven't gone to is the ancient forest. But there's just been, like, no talk about it. Like, it just... It, like, randomly showed up, like, early in the game, and I never went there. Just because, like, whatever. Hmm. Oh, but you know what? Alright, I gotta be boring for a minute here. Um... So, when I was editing my videos for the last playthrough, I realized that I never actually explored this mine. And, I mean, there could be, like, more illustrations in here or something. I want to, like, 100% this game, and that means getting all the illustrations. So, if, like, there's illustrations or something to be found in here, I want to find them. So that means I gotta explore the mine, because, spoiler alert again, I got abducted by the worm before I could finish exploring it. <gasps> Treasure! <gasps> Illustration 2! Oh boy! <gasps> it's the prince. He wears a dress. Like, you can't tell me that's not a dress. Like, yeah, he's got his cape, but then, like, he's also clearly wearing, like, what is that? Like, one of those, like, dress suit things? Like... I don't know, like, no judging. Men can wear whatever they want. I'm just saying, like, that's clearly a dress. Now, here's the thing. If you're, like, so excited by this gameplay of me exploring a dungeon, just wait, because... The next thing that I need to do is go to the ancient forest. And you want to know what's in an ancient forest? That's right, another dungeon. This game is just all dungeons. I'll see if, like, my grandpa has any wisdom. There's a doll that resembles a demon. Talk to it? Yes. Oh my god, is it Legem? Hello. H-E-L-L-O. That's weird. Why doesn't it say something? Maybe you should play your horn. Yes! Oh my god, is it legend? <gasps> well, that's not legend. Alright. Night Spawn has joined your party. <laughs> what was that about? It was not legend. Alright then, I guess I'm off to the ancient forest. Illustration 5! Alright, it wasn't a total waste of time. There she is playing her horn, and she has Legem with her! Paradise is Frogberg Kingdom, yes. Visit you must sometime, yes. Yes, but how? See, I might need to go to the Frogland. Maybe I gotta talk to Karen. Because if anyone can convince the pirates to take me somewhere. It's Karen. What do you have to say? Oh, right! I'm supposed to give this ring to Mary! Oh, Lubinsky. He was only thinking of me, even in death. He hasn't changed a bit. Sniff, sniff. Ah, you came back safely. Anyway, here's the ring. Thank you for everything. You've helped me keep my promise. Now Mary can have a brand new life. You're going to save the prince, right? Whatever you do, never give up, no matter how bad things may seem. Thanks for the advice. Who am I, you say? I'm the older sister of the captain of the White Whales. I may not look like it, but I'm over 50 years old.
Why does everyone think Gao is a man? I heard the pirates are going over to the village of Kiro Kiro. That village is a place for weird artifacts and stuff. Some even say that you can find the earth stone there. All right, maybe now they'll take me. I gave the ring to Mary. I talked to someone about how they're going Kiro Kiro. All right, you gotta take me to Kiro Kiro. Aha, we're going to the town of Kiro Kiro. Do you wanna come with us? Yes, follow me. Kiro Kiro! Yes! Look at the frogs! Welcome! This is the kingdom of Frogberg. Go through the temple to the west to reach Frogberg Castle. The centaur's temple is a ruin of ancient culture. Supposedly one of the five heart stones is there. The earth stone. A girl wearing a cat's costume came over and released a fish in the pond. Since then, Boo Boo and Bebe started to show up in the pond. That's Africa by Toto. Did you hear that? It was like do 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 do. Did I talk to you? There's a boo boo and a baby ahead, and they eat frog people and humans. Are you still going? Yes. Are you really going? Yes. All right. Any last words before you go? No. Please be my guest, and may you have happiness in the netherworld. Ew, look at this, Cornette! It looks like someone was using the pond as a bathroom or something. Gee, just what I wanted to hear. Don't worry, Boo Boo and Baby shouldn't be much of a problem. Did you see that? I don't want to see it. Ha ha ha. Must have been a figment of my imagination. Go get him, Cornette. I'll be over here if you need me. What do you mean by that? Oh my, there they are! Can I reach them? I cannot. What about this? Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Another dungeon. Hmm, frogs. I've heard of your bravery. Your victory over Boo Boo and Bebe has pleased our king. To show you our gratitude, the king has prepared a feast in your honor. I'm so hungry. <laughs> you are the first human ever to have received this kind of welcome. Yay! Well, look at that. We were expecting you. The banquet is ready. Please come in. We were expecting you, Miss Cornette. I am the King of Frogberg. To your right is my wife. And to your left is my daughter, Caroline. The lives of many frog people were lost to the Boo Boo and Bebe, but now we can live without fear. Thank you very much. We have prepared a banquet in your honor. Let the festivities begin. 
Please enjoy. What the? What is this? The soup is filled with mosquitoes. Uh, Cornet. Hey, she passed out. First off is the soup. The soup is based on a mushroom sauce sprinkled with fresh mosquitoes. Isn't it tasty? But there aren't many mosquitoes around anymore. Cultivated mosquitoes just don't quite taste as good as the wild ones. Mosquitoes out in nature are the best. Do you like it? No. Is that so? Then let's go on to the next dish. Next! This delicacy is called dancing flies. The flies flying around in your mouth give that give it that extra tangy flavor. Yes, just open the lid slowly and catch the flies with your tongue. Hmm. Huh? Do you like it? No. Oh, is that so? We have plenty of food to be brought out. Oh, no, no, we've had enough, thanks. Well, that just means more for us. Maybe you'll like our song instead. Oh my god, prepare the song! I forgot about this song actually. I know, it's weird. I forgot about one of the songs, but now that I'm hearing it again, like I know it. I can't believe I forgot about this song. So what do you think? Did you like it? Yes. I knew it. That song is my favorite as well. Cornette, you have a horn. I do. Would you mind playing your horn for us? That's a great idea. Miss Cornette, please let us hear your song. Sure. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, that was really nice. This is the first time that we've heard a human song. Thank you very much. But, uh, it's kind of difficult to understand. That's because you're old-fashioned, Father. Your song has touched my heart, Miss Cornette. Hmm. Oh, look at the time. You two must be getting tired. Miss Cornette, Miss Kururu, please have a good night's sleep. Yawn, I'm tired. Yeah, but I'm still hungry. Oh well, let's get some rest. To your left is the room of Port Gama, the fiance of Caroline. Port Gama is known for his intelligence, frugalness, and good manners. But he's a negative five on the exciting scale. <laughs> a real bore, you know. I wouldn't want to marry him. That's rude. Hello. I know what people are saying behind my back. Princess Caroline's heart may not belong to me, but I love her more than anyone ever could. Hmm. How do I get to the centaur's temple then? Well, alright, here's the thing. I've been playing for like almost two hours now. And I am hungry. So, I guess this is a pretty good stopping point. They mentioned that Minister Galonzo is missing. I wonder if people at uh, Mother Green have anything to say about that. Maybe. I will check that out next time I play. <laughs> 